The Miami-Dade County Homeless Trust works to keep people from living on the streets. But now it says a fourth of the people it seeks to help are in danger of being evicted or losing their homes. Those desperate for intervention include a survivor determined to give people hope. CBS News Miami's Larry Seward explains. Under I-95 ramps in Overtown. Hands on out. Oh man, it's a blessing. Target's traffic jammed in tents full of crisis. It always like brings tears to my eye because you know I went through this, you know, so all I know is that you know you have to keep the hope. Between February and May, more than 42,000 people called Miami Dade County's homeless trust for help. One in four faced court eviction with a notice to vacate or imminent risk of homelessness. The trust's latest data highlights problems Kamala's House outreach teams see every day. We got a lot of uh, clients that are are willing and able to get into housing, but the housing market and prices keep rising. And the difference, the gap between the vouchers and the housing market, it's a great gap there. Felix Cardona has no housing voucher. Much like Barbara Jenkins, his greatest struggle is finding hope. There's only but so much they can do and so many they can help, but the ones that do make it, they do. Jenkins spent seven years in prison for grand theft. While there, his mom, dad, and grandma died. So when Jenkins got out in February, for the first time in my life, I came home to nothing. This stuff mentally can destroy you. Javante Jackson grew up in Kamala's house homeless shelters. It's why he joined their Lazarus outreach team to fill immediate survival needs and inspire those mired in Miami's housing bottleneck. I was taught, you know, you're not blessed until you bless others. So uh, this is me, it's my blessing because I'm giving back. The housing trust works with dozens of landlords on solutions, but they also have a multi-million dollar grant to buy or renovate four facilities and open up 550 new permanent homes starting next month. In Miami-Dade County, Larry Seward, CBS News, Miami.